What's up, my YouTube friends? How y'all doing? I hope y'all having a blessed day. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new, thank you so much. My name is Momo, and I like to do a lot of nail stuff. So, yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. If you have not done so yet, hit the subscribe button. Uh, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. So, like that, you can get notified for when I upload again. And, yeah, so let's get right into this video, y'all. all right y'all we're going straight into this video as you can see that i already started applying my um acrylic and i'm using the not polished clear acrylic and i'm using okay and i'm wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute okay i'm building up my this nail with clear acrylic i'm building up the apex the 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 thickness the strength and everything with this um acrylic onto this um pinky nail because i want this pinky nail to be just a whole clear um nail um if you are wondering what kind of um nail tip that i'm using i think i'm using the extra extra long um sieve curve sieve curve <laughs> the square um c curve tips if i'm not mistaken it's either or it's either the non c curve one or the c the c curve ones but it's the extra extra long square ones my bad y'all i am so sorry but if i'm not mistaken i think it is the c curve extra extra long square nail tips yeah because it's either or So I'm on to the next nail, y'all. With this um, nail, the ring finger and the middle finger, they're both going to be the same um, scheme, the same technique, the same style, the same <laughs> whatever you want to call it, but they're both going to be the same. I'm just going to be applying a real, real thin layer of that clear acrylic so I can have something to adhere those neon hearts to. I'm using these... Uh, this, if y'all seen my last video that I posted with the neon stars, if you have not this so yet, I'll leave the link in the description box so you can go watch that. But um, I had almost did the same thing, but with some stars, but and with neon colored acrylics. But this time it's going to be with the neon hearts and just clear acrylic. And I'm trying, and what I'm doing is bunching up all those neon hearts around the cuticle area around the nail bed area should i say i want it to be all bunched up around that nail bed area almost like flowing like if it's like fading out like i want to i'm applying a lot of it around that nail onto the nail bed area but also bring in some out looking like if it's like i'm bringing out you know I don't know if y'all seen like some inspo pics like i think it was on pinterest or probably instagram or whatever where you seen where they had the nail designs like this with hearts like with the sequence hearts oh child y'all hear that snoring in the background that's my dog snoring layla that's her fat ass snoring my dog fat as shit she over there snoring but um with, I don't know if y'all seen that technique where they apply like a whole bunch of the little sequin hearts around that area where I'm applying it right now. And it looks like if it's floating on out to the nail tip area. Well, that's 
that's the technique that I'm going for. That's the look that I'm going for. So yeah, as you can see right here that I'm applying it right there, all bunched up and almost like if it's um, bring out onto the nail tip. But I want it to be clear though. And while I'm done bunching up all those hearts onto that area where I want it at, I, and then I go with another real, real thin layer of clear, of clear acrylic right on top of those hearts. So I can add more hearts on top of that clear acrylic. Just so it could give me like a, a dimension, like a 3D dimension, like if it's like hearts stacking on top of hearts. So that's what I did. I did a, a real clear thin layer first on top of the um, nail bed. I applied a whole bunch of neon stars, as you can see what I did. And then I went and applied another real clear thin layer right on top of those hearts so I could add more hearts on top of that clear and on top of those hearts. Like I said, so like that could give me like a like a 3D dimension, something that I was looking for. Yeah, that, that, that look that I was looking for, like a dimension look. Yeah. I hope y'all get what I'm trying to say, y'all. Because I am the worst at, exp at explaining shit, y'all. I am so sorry. Yeah. So the same thing you see me doing here with this ring finger, I will be doing the same thing to the middle finger. And the pointer finger is going to be um, the same as the um, pinky. It's going to be a whole clear nail, which I'm going to build up with the clear, okay? Yeah, because I'm going to be adding some stone to both, of, to both of those nails. That's why I'm leaving it clear and plain. I applied all them hearts to those two nails where I wanted them at. Now I'm going to be building it up with the clear acrylic from that polish. This is what I'm going to be doing with um, the rest of the, the rest of the, the rest of the, <laughs> if I don't fucking stutter, I'm not explaining shit right. Like, oh God, yo, I am so sorry, y'all. I don't know why I'm trying to explain stuff. If I can't even explain it, like, I'm punching myself, y'all. It's like, nah. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just applying clear acrylic to these nails to build up the nails now. Like, you know, to build up the strength, the apex, the thickness, the way I want these nails to be built up. All right. And I'm doing it with not polished clear acrylic. I'm going to try to leave the stuff that I'm using in the link in the description box below. So like that, y'all can get access to it right away. 
or not if i forget or whatever just leave me a comment and i got y'all all right but this is all i'm gonna be doing with the rest of these nails wait 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 not all i'm gonna be doing i'm gonna be adding stones to these nails also so those to those two um plain nails that you see right there the pinky and the end defender i'm gonna be applying some neon um rhinestones all right so stay tuned stay tuned to the end so that, that you can see the end results of this nail set you got a body that you always find open up a bottle and baby you can have whatever you want you taste so sweet i can't help myself you like candy you like liquid honey you taste so sweet i can't help myself you like candy you like liquid honey oh ah. we're moving places i can't control Body like a model You got a body that you always find Open up a bottle And baby you can have whatever you want You taste so sweet I can't help myself You like candy You like liquid honey You taste so sweet I can't help myself You like candy You like liquid honey Again, uh, I left this clip in when I'm now I'm gonna start e filing and I left this clip in again because I like to watch stuff like this when I'm watching other YouTubers um, do nails. I like to watch the acrylic application, I like to watch the filing and all that. So I decided to leave this portion of the e filing in the video on normal time so like that y'all can see how I'm doing it. So I'm just going around my cuticle area with that e-file just to flush and make that nice and, you know, flush around the cuticle area nice and smooth. And then I will be going on top of the whole, around on top of the whole nail with the e-file. But, but I'm doing little to no pressure when I'm going on top of the nail with the e-file. Because, you know, all I'm doing, I, I did a good application, so I don't need to debulk any acrylic. So I'm just basically fouling on top of the nails, but with the e-file, and I'm doing it, you know, hardly to no pressure. Because you want to do uh, with, if you're doing it with pressure, what you're doing is debulking the nail. If you're putting a little too much pressure onto the nails, like you're taking off acrylic. But I'm not, like I said, I'm not hardly putting any pressure when I'm going on top of the nails right here like I'm doing now I'm just like buffing and filing the nails with the with the e-file 
and you know just basically reshaping up the free edge the side walls and everything with the e-file and yeah and then later on i'll go in with my hand file and just finish up reshaping up the nails to get it more nice and crisp with the hand file yeah so that's what i'm doing now with my e-file like i said i just have this portion in because i like to see stuff like this i don't know if you don't and if you don't care for it too much just skip you know to the next part of the video when me applying the rhinestones so yeah y'all just note that the way i'm filing my nails is because the because the way I applied them, my acrylic, that's the that's why I'm filing the my nails the way I'm filing it, you know. So if your nail is came out a little thicker and your acrylic application is way thicker, then you know you might have to use a coarser bit and go in with a little bit more pressure than what I'm doing to debulk the nails and you know to file the nails to your liking, you know. So just note that okay and a disclaimer i am not a nail professional i'm not a nail technician i am self-taught okay thank you for understanding <laughs>so after the e-file i'll be going in with my 100 100 grit hand file from tammy tate yeah from tammy taylor and just you know reshaping the nails crisping it up the shape and all that good stuff that's about it not doing too too much just reshaping the free edge the and the side walls you, you know getting it nice and crisp reshaping reshaping that's all you have to say momo it's reshape the nail tips that's it <laughs> oh man So after the hand filing from reshaping the nails, then I'm going to go in with the 180 um, buffer from Young Nails. And I'm going to buff up all the nails, you know, getting it nice and smooth and, you know, take away the scratches and everything that I made with the hand file or with the e-file and all that. And all that good stuff. All right, y'all, we almost at the end of the video. I'm just going to be applying these um, neon rhinestones onto the nails onto the pinky and the index finger you know just to bring out the the nails even more with them colorful neon hearts that i applied on them two finger on them two nails right there middle and ring finger as you can see that i'm laying them out right there on my table before i applied them on the nails i just want to see the layout of how it's going to look before i apply it on the nails i would advise to do is to do this like lay out your rhinestone to see how it's going to come out laid out first if you're going to be using the the well that's the only blink adhesive that i know of that dries up right away is the zule bling adhesive so if you're using um zule's bling adhesive and you do not know how to place your rhinestones onto the nails yet or how you want to place them and if you need more time moving them around, yes. Do not use Zule's bring adhesive if you do not know 
how you're going to place your rhinestones because once you place that rhinestones onto that bling adhesive it's going to stay stuck right there so if i was you i would use a regular bling um rhinestone gel so like that could give you enough time to move around the rhinestones to you know how you want it and all that before it gets dry or like i said if you want if you're going to use the bling adhesive from today just make sure you lay out your placement on the table first to see how it's going to look and then you place it onto the nails and then it could glue on right away yeah but if you don't know or how you want to place do your placement i will go in with a regular rhinestone bling gel and and take it from there yeah but if you know how you're going to place your nail i mean your rhinestones onto the nails then you can use your the the Zule bling adhesive like i said that thing dries up pretty quick so once you place that rhinestone down is a wrap like it's a wrap <laughs> you're gonna have to use um you know use you're gonna have to use some pliers to take them damn rhinestones out okay so <laughs> take it from me you know? take it from experience <laughs> So yeah, so that's what I will be doing now. I'm just gonna be placing my rhinestones onto the nails and voila. And another thing, if you made it this far, y'all, and you like what you're seeing and you like the way these nail sets came out, please give me a thumbs up, y'all. Please give this video a like. I would really appreciate it so, 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 so much. It would mean a lot to me if you would like this video and leave me a little comment and you know all that good stuff that we would love and appreciate from you guys so yeah we can please do that for me and yeah and welcome back make sure you subscribe and push that notification bell on to also that you can get notified for when i upload again so that you can see more videos like this and yeah and become my youtube friend all right y'all so thank you so much for tuning in thank you so much for watching I love y'all. This means a lot to me. I appreciate it so much. I can't wait till I hit 500 subscribers because I'm going to do a nice little giveaway for you guys. And I'm going to make sure I'm focusing on, you know. Yeah, no, you know what? I'm not even going to say that. Like, just make sure that you're active. Make sure that you're commenting. Make sure that you're, that I can see who's always here and, 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 and showing me love and all that stuff. Because, you know, I would love to, for, you know, one of you guys to win this um, giveaway. But, you know, you know, at the end of the day, I'm going to do it the fair way. I'm going to pick out from the comments. I'm going to pick out and I'm going to do that, um, the comp, you know, that picker website thing that picks out. Yeah. You know, so it could be fair to all. But, yeah, as you can see, this is the rhinestone placement that I'm doing. And, yeah before i leave <clears throat> um i'm using the bomb nails matte top coat i'm applying matte top coat onto these nails because that was my desired top coat to go with that's what i wanted my nails to be matte but you can do shiny if you want i think it will look real nice and shiny also matter of fact i think it will look better on shiny but i wanted to do matte so i did matte and yeah so don't forget y'all subscribe like and comment it will mean a lot to me i love y'all stay blessed and be safe out there and thank you for watching and yeah please come back again see y'all later bye